Greetings, everyone. This is the Gardening Snail of Livingston, California, just trying to keep the community informed and local government as honest as possible. In this video, we are going to do a brief overview on what's on the agenda for the July 5th, 2022 City Council meeting. Any editorial content is my own as a resident of Livingston and does not represent the views and opinions of the City Council or the City of Livingston itself and does not represent any kind of legal advice. Open session set to begin at 7 p.m. Members of the public are encouraged to participate in the meeting via teleconference by calling 520-525-8911. Additionally, the meeting will be streamed on YouTube Live. Some council members may be participating in the meeting remotely via teleconference. Assistance will be provided to those requiring accommodations for disabilities. You should contact the deputy city clerk at least 24 hours prior to the meeting at 209-394-8041, extension 121. Public comments can be submitted via email at citycouncil at livingstoncity.com. Comments must be received by 2 p.m. on the day of the city council meeting. You will need to provide meeting date, item number, name, email, and comment. Please limit to 300 words or three minutes. Please include public comment in the subject for the email. The meeting will start with a call to order with the pledge, moment of silence, roll call, closed session announcements, and changes to the agenda followed by citizen comments. Comments are normally limited to three minutes for any item not otherwise on the agenda. Next is awards, presentations, and proclamations, with three presentations to members of the Air National Guard. After that is announcements and reports, followed by the consent agenda. Items on the consent calendar are considered routine or non-controversial and be enacted by one vote unless separate action is requested by the city manager or city council member. There will be no separate discussion of each of these items unless members of the city council or city manager request that a specific item or items be removed. Items number four and five are pretty standard and are on consent calendars regularly as is this ratifying check warrants. Item number seven is about emergency sewer repairs. Item number eight is to establish the city's policy for a tie vote when two or more candidates receive an equal number of votes. There is one discussion and potential action item this time around. That is the discussion and direction on allocating the 4th of July funds that had been previously budgeted for fireworks to the centennial celebration. Then after the council direction on future agenda items, the city council will go into closed session for a public employee performance evaluation, initial six month review of the city attorney. Okay, now this is July. If this is an initial six month review, shouldn't it have taken place already? Like around in January? Anyway, here's a little excerpt from the staff report about the emergency sewer repair where apparently on May 16th, the wastewater treatment plant experienced a leak and it had to be fixed on an emergency basis. And the bill for that fix is going to be over $80,000. A little more about tie breaking. City staff recommends adopting a tie break policy of by lot to be determined by a coin toss. Photo credit. If you like what I do here, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Facebook. If you don't, well, thanks for hanging out this long anyway.